Good morning, modern steaders. I don't think the pig slept inside last night. Is it nice and warm out? I got that filled up perfectly. Oh, watch out. Over here. We got your bucket. It's going to be another great day to work on the barn today. That sun's coming up. It's going to warm up again. It's good for the soul. You girls hungry? You're always hungry. Go ahead, you're, such ho you're so hungry. There you go. You all still sleeping this morning? Today we're gonna to be working on the fly rafters for the barn. And then the next step is gonna be getting the tin on the roof, guys, for the main structure. And then we can start adding the eave overhangs. Oh, it's all starting to come together now. I want to get the whole thing dried in as soon as possible, and then we can finish up doing the doors, the windows, and all the trim work. That way when it's rainy out, we'll have plenty of rainy day projects. We all know we got plenty of rain here. We went out to a family movie last night. We didn't get back till 10 o'clock, so I didn't get to separate the baby goats from Willow and the rest of the herd till later. So we got a little bit less milk this morning. That's all right, it was worth it. We found out too that they're gonna be premiering the movie, The Biggest Little Farm in our area in August. We're excited to go see that movie. Save the last of the alfalfa fruit here. The other goats don't know it. They're too busy inside. I put it outside on you today, girls. See old CWC hanging out of New York City. Hey, oh, you got a bug on you guys. Oh, you had a bug on you. What are you doing over here, CWC? Hannah doesn't want to come down the field this morning. He knows if he gets all wet, he's got to stay in the basement until he dries off. He doesn't like staying in the basement when he's wet. That <laughs> silly dog. You guys ready to move to some taller grass? Now they got some nice clean bedding. What's the matter, Tanner? You didn't want to get wet from the grass this morning? This morning we're going to be working on installing our fly rafters. We're going to make them, and we're also going to be installing these three boards for our eave overhang. If, if we weren't doing the eave overhang, I wouldn't have cut off my rafters shorter. I would have let them extend, and then we would have had an overhang. But we didn't. We cut them off. So we need to get these three boards, nail them on, and then those will be the nailer for our eave overhang rafters right here. All right, let's uncover everything. Uh, I moved back all of the eave overhang lumber back here and I kept it separate. I got one eave overhang material here and the other eave overhang material there. And I tried stacking it in the order I thought I was going to need it. My guess is right here is what we need. Yep, 208, 1200, so one, two, three, OH2. So we just gotta move a few boards. Yep, 
so we go right to the edge of the four by fours. We don't do the siding, we don't do the fly rafters. Good to know. So we can get those up first and then build our fly rafters. All right, I wanna lower down the staging. Yeah, lock it in place. That should be a good height right here. Gonna learn from last time we put the rafters on and we're gonna put up some strapping to set our two by eights on. All right, so we got layout all marked out. Kinda curious, this is gonna prove to be the interesting part at first. Let's do, let's see. Let's clamp. Our level in place. There you go. That'll at least free up one set of hands. And then we can do this. We don't want this protruding over. So if I mark this like so. Get a baseline five and an eight. Now let's do this. Can always go a little low. Flush that end up there. Check everything with the level. That's good on that rafter. That's good on that rafter. <laughs> Boom. So let's do it here. So I'm sinking these in low. And instead of going into the rafter, we're going into the top plate of the 4x4. Four four. I'm going to go right on the side of where the rafter is going to go. I like that. Let's check this last one. And I like that one. On this end. So we're just gonna come up a smidge here. So move it on down the line. Move it on down the line. Do 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 do. We gotta come up a smidge. We gotta come up a little bit. how we're doing on the ends for a length. I don't want to be sticking past this two by. Oh, we're flush. Perfect, guys, perfect. I like it, I like it a lot. 
Alright, let's go like this. Let's see how we end up doing. Come down. It went too much. Right there's good. Nice. All right, let's get a screw started. Actually, you know what? We should be able to clamp it. And use the clamp to suck it down. There we go. I like that right there. Perfect. Let's take another one. Nice. If your bits don't want to come out, tap them on the face, it gives them a shock, and it breaks them free. Gotta take down our strap in. Now we can go to the other side and do the same thing. Awesome, that part is done. Now let's get working on the fly rafters. Now we need to find four 108-13200. We don't need the 108-1301s. And then we also need four 106s, 12-612. So, 1304. So there's a bunch of stuff. I put right here. These are the 108-1302s. What did I say? Four of them? 108. Yeah. One, two, three, four. So that's those. We need to find 106-12612, which I believe is in this pile. 104, 104, 104. I'm guessing it is these. And it's just labeled a little bit different. One, two, three. There's gonna be two of them over here. Just right here and right here. If you're new to our channel, this is a pre cut post and beam barn kit we bought off the internet. I'll have links in the yeah, description down below. Them right there. All right, so because we are putting on the Eve overhangs, we need to cut back our fly rafters. All right, so now we want to go from long point to short point, 118 inches. So let's cut it a hair long. Didn't feel like it went through, but it did. All right, so we're just a hair long. Now we can make sure we get it right. No, we have not got a new one yet. The repair is holding up. All right, let's grab quick. 
few of these. All right, let's try doing this, this. Stay with me, guys. Stay with me. We got this. All right, so now that we got that, let's grab the nail gun real quick. All right, take the top one. Swap it over. Set it in place. Now we just want to move this so everything lines up on the top one and everything is flush. Same with this one. Nice that we have layout on top and bottom, so we know where to nail. Make sure we're flush top and bottom again. All right, so this raft is gonna go on this side, like so. And then this one is gonna go on the, go on this side, like so. Clamp our fly rafter in place. Let's go over here and check for a center. Uh, yes, that's perfect. I like that, guys. So before I nail it, let's take a longer clamp. Uh, I like that. Let's move this one down a smidge. Get it set flush here. Yeah, I like that. Like that.
go over here, check our two peaks and how they meet. This one's gonna come down a smidge. Uh, that's low. That's good right there. All right, let's do this. Just one. Eek. Hair could come up a smidge, so let's do this. That's gotta come up. Get our strapping in place. Let's go up and see how we're doing. are too high. Let's see how we are up higher. <sighs> too high, okay. All right, still too high. Yeah. Up there, it looks pretty good though. So let's nail it off up high. Because I like it right here. Let's do this. And then it's high from here on down. What happens if we take all the weight? That's perfect. I like it. Nice. It's time to move the pigs. Let's see if we can get it done before it rains. You guys want to get moved? Put that up and in. It's up there. There's your food. Go get it. I've never closed them in the trailer before, guys. It's their first time. Get the door shut. I'm not sure if you can see them in there, but I hear them. Let's kill the juice to the old fence Rooney. Disconnect it. All right. They got the soil looking so nice. If it wasn't mostly shade, I'd say let's put the gar a garden here. But we get so much shade here during the day. I'll have to plant it to grass. The pig's first ride. it off here. The goats don't like the rain.
Bada boom, bada bang. Oops. There's an old firewood bin. I think is what it's supposed to be that we found on the side of the road that somebody had plywood on. And it works perfect. I think I got no. I put some screws in it and it works perfectly to be a mobile energizer for our fence. And the ground rod will go in on this side. It's just to save the battery. And I will attach our wire to the fence. Oh, you know what I didn't grab? I'll have to grab it. The tester before we let him out. It's like it was made for it. I'm telling you. They made it just it the Yep, they made it just for us. Alright, let me go grab the tester and I'll be right back. Let's check it and see. Eight thousand volts. Is that good? Oh yeah. You're I, not funny. I know I'm funny. Alright, what do you think the pigs are gonna think? Huh? Hey piggies! You think You gonna Don't run me over. Pile of dirt right where I want to drop it. Look at that, you got a new area. What do you think? Got some new ground to work, some new grass and brush to eat. Leave your poop over here and help fertilize. I parked the pasture pig mobile on a slight downhill angle to help capture as much water as possible. And it's supposed to rain today and the next couple of days. Got to come over here after with a rake and some grass seed and man that looks so good. Pick up the big rocks and just smooth it out. This is the second year the pigs have been down in this spot. If you guys are watching this the day the video goes live, happy 4th of July. Happy birthday America. Let's keep this country great. Uh, it's nice to see the pigs finally being moved. I'm excited. The move went well. They're going to be digging up that new area that we brought them over to and be able to get that raked out and get that reseeded into pasture. That's the goal right now. I want to be able to move the pigs, I don't know, every like week and a half, two weeks to a new area. But something that's a good size and manageable so after I move them, I can go behind them, pick the rocks, rake it out, and get some grass seed down and get the new pasture growing in nicely. So I think it's going to be quite a bit going on between finishing up building the barn and working with the pigs and all the other animals. And then we got another big project coming up shortly that's going to be a surprise. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. Have a great 4th of July, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.